Are you missing one newbie dream ticket? If you say yes, I will guide you on how to get it. As you can see, all of my 14 tasks in the Dragon Nest newbie guide is all checked out, but as you can see, I only have 13 newbie dream tickets. You may already know that you'll need 14 newbie dream tickets to get the newbie end of dream weapon pouch to complete the Dragon Nest newbie graduation task. So, the question is, where is the remaining newbie dream ticket? The answer is, you'll get the last newbie dream ticket after you've cleared the stage 1 and 2 Dragon Nest newbie mission box. To get this mission box, you'll need to clear the lucky zone task in the Dragon Nest newbie guide. Then after you've cleared one lucky zone stage, you'll get the Dragon Nest newbie mystery mission box pouch in the mail, so make sure to receive it in your mail. I've already opened the Dragon Nest newbie mystery mission box pouch. Once you've opened the pouch, you'll get the stage 1 Dragon Nest newbie mission box. To clear stage 1 of the Dragon Nest newbie mission box, you'll need to speak to a specific NPC in the game, and clear a lucky zone stage 2 times. You'll see this icon on the top right of the screen to find and clear a lucky zone stage. In there, you'll see 3 lucky zone stages, pick any of the dungeon listed, and clear it 2 times. In my case, I've already cleared 2 lucky zone stages, so the next task is to speak to a certain NPC. In my case, I need to talk to Merchant Lucida, which is located at Lotus Marsh. Important note. The NPC that I need to talk to, may or may be different from the mission box that you will get after you've opened the Dragon Nest newbie mystery mission box pouch. Here are the other NPCs that you need to find and talk to. In case your mission box is different from mine. First is the Weird Technician NPC. You'll find Weird Technician NPC in this location in the foothills of Black Mountain. Next is Lafie the Beggar. You'll find Lafie the Beggar in this location in St. Haven. Next is the Invisible Thief. You'll find Invisible Thief NPC in this location in Calderock Village. And last is Guard Dickinson. You'll find Guard Dickinson in this location in Wind Forest. Okay, now that we're done with these two tasks, we can now unlock the Stage 2 Mission Box. To claim the rewards in the Stage 2 Mission Box, click here. You will get 1 Fatigue Recovery Potion, 10 Bubble Coral, and Stage 2 of the Dragon Nest Newbie Mission Box. To clear Stage 2 of the Dragon Nest Newbie Mission Box, you'll need to exchange Coral Jelly one time. For this task, the prerequisite requirements are 800 Gold and 10 Bubble Coral. The 10 Bubble Coral is already provided after you've cleared the Stage 1 Mission Box. And for the gold, in my case, I've already farmed some gold doing Lucky Zone with my friends. If you don't have enough gold, I recommend joining a party to help you do Lucky Zone at Labyrinth 6 or 11. Now that we already have the required gold and bubble coral, we'll need to talk to the master NPC of your class to get the exchange bubble coral side quest. If you don't know where to find your master NPC, I will show you their location. First, let's start with my class, Vander. For the Vander class, your master NPC is Kana. You will find Kana in this location on Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. For the other class, you'll find all of your master NPC in St. Haven. Let's start with the Warrior class. For the Warrior class, your master NPC is Master Warrior Rodrigo. For the Archer class, your master NPC is Master Archer Ithilien. For the Sorceress class, your master NPC is Master Sorceress Stella. For the Cleric class, your master NPC is Master Cleric Enoch. For the Academic class, your master NPC is Academic Station. For the Kali class, your master NPC is Hermit's Totem. For the Assassin class, your master NPC is Shadow Nako. For the Lancia class, your master NPC is Eltia Justicia. For the Machina class, your master NPC is Martial Artist Shaolong. Since my character base class is Vander, my master NPC is Kana. Since I already got 800 gold and 10 bubble coral, we can now exchange it for coral jellies. 
To exchange bubble corals, go and talk to your master NPC and select the growth option. Just go through the dialogue to clear the quest. After completing the quest, you'll get 10 coral jellies in exchange for 10 bubble coral and 800 gold. Okay, now that we're done with the task, we can now unlock the stage 2 mission box reward, and get the final newbie dream ticket. Now that I already have 14 newbie dream tickets, I can now purchase the newbie end of dream weapon pouch. Go and talk to BST point shop NPC, select the shop option, click on the ticket exchange tab, and buy the newbie end of dreams weapon pouch. That's all for this guide. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the comment section below.